okay, graphing piecewise functions freaks people out for some reason. Let me give you my take on this. What I do with this is I graph it as if it's as many pieces as there are, as many pieces as there are, I graph it as, it's, as if it's that many functions. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to graph this function right here. So I'm going to take this piece of the function out right here, and I'm just going to rewrite it and say 2x plus 13 if x is greater than or equal to negative 5. And then what I'm going to do is, this is kind of the key right here. This is the critical value right here, and this value is critical. So I'm going to assess it. I'm going to evaluate this at negative 5. So I'm going to take f of negative 5, which would be 2, right? So this is where my x was, I'm going to put the negative 5 in there, negative 5, right? Remember that, that's going to give me the point negative 5 something, isn't it? So 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, negative 10 plus 13 is positive 3, isn't that right? So that's the point negative 5, 3, and this is negative 5, 3. Negative 5, 3, negative 5, 3. Now I'm going to ask myself this question. Is the point negative 5, 3, does, does it count on this or not? How, you're like, what the hell are you talking about? So put that negative 5 in there and ask yourself the question. Is negative 5 greater than or equal to negative 5? Yes or no? Yes, it is. And therefore, the, the notation for that is just to take that little point that you have and just shade it in. So I shade it in and say, yes, that's it. Now, I want values greater than negative 5. So I need a value greater than negative 5. Right, so I need a value greater than negative five, like I don't know, um, how about zero? Is that all right? Zero. Do the same thing I did before. I got the point zero. So I go back to my equation, I take out x, right? This I'm take here I'm taking Well it doesn't want to draw there. That's okay. I'm taking f of zero here, right? So zero, I put zero in here. Two times zero, zero plus thirteen is thirteen. I get the point zero thirteen, right? So zero if this is 3, then sorry, but this is maybe 13 up here, right? And I know, look, I want every value, every x value greater than negative 5. So this is the x value greater, this x value is negative 5. So if I move to the right of that and through this point, that's all of those values. And I get my line didn't go straight right here. I apologize. But this is that part of the function. So let's be clear. This part is... this part and I needed two points so I could so I could create a line okay now you're like now what now I did half of my work now I'm gonna start to work on this part of the function right here so I'm gonna bring that to hell I don't know I'll bring it to here I'm gonna say x plus one half if x is less than negative five Again, I'm going to evaluate this at the critical value, right? So I'm going to take f of negative 5, which is equal to negative 5 plus 1 half, right? So I get a point negative 5. Negative 5 plus 1 half is negative 4 and a half, isn't it? So I get negative 5, negative 5, negative 4 and a half. This is where your graph should get good because go back and ask yourself does this negative 5 count how would I know that take your negative 5 up here and put it in and say is negative 5 less than negative 5 yes or no no therefore this point right here that I drew right here doesn't count this is what you got to get so the notation for that is that you don't shade it in you leave that hole and what you're saying is every place but that place and then look so I'm moving on from there and I need some value less than negative 5. Like what? I don't know. Negative 10 maybe? It doesn't matter. Anything that would make this true. So what did I do? I came up here. I dropped in negative 10. And I said, does that work? Negative 10 is less than negative 5? Yes, it is. So I'll, I'll evaluate that. F of negative 10 is negative 10 plus 1 half. So I get the point negative 10. Negative 10 plus 1 half is negative 9 and a half, isn't it? So where would that be? Well, all this crap over here, I guess. Sorry. And it's this point here. And I don't know. Negative 10, negative 9 and a half. And that's crap. 
negative 10, negative 9 and a half. Yeah? Now I just connect the dots, right? It says here I want those x values that are less than negative 5. Well, the, the x values that are less than negative 5 are to the left of that point, aren't they? And it would go this way. So look, if you're reading this graph, this forget that you know the forget that you even know what the equations are. When you get to negative five, you're like, well, which point is it? Is it this point down here or this point up here? Well, because we know the notation, we know that it's the shaded point. So when we look, as we read a graph, we realize if this point, like this one right here, is open, it means not included. So when we're looking at this point or this one, the shaded one is included, the unshaded one is not included. So there's our graph, okay? This is very doable. I tell you, you have to practice, and remember to, this is critical, to assess each part of the thing at that critical at the critical value if you have a function that looks like this okay good work